pelas minhas escolhas e pela minha incapacidade, eu sinto uma dor absurda. Eu achei essa carta outro dia no bolso de um casaco antigo. Stupid wife's treat 2 by 4 I appreciate you getting me out of there because it was a terrible situation for me. I'm aware that I don't want it to appear that way, particularly in front of Igor. It's not that I don't like the fact that my nephew was born, otherwise, my mother, your brother's mother, wouldn't think so highly of you. So relax as we explain the surprising outcome. Valentina sends Tico a birthday greeting. I adore you and understand your anguish. It has always been like way. If I could, I'd gladly shoulder your burden. Despite the fact that Luisa was aware that Valentina normally kept her bicycle in a separate garage, she could still feel Valentina's arms around her waist. She didn't want the vacation to end because she wouldn't be this close to Valentina again. Igor stepped outside and unlocked the door, allowing Luisa and Valentina to leave. Luisa straightened her clothes as she exited the van, but she was self-conscious about her appearance. Valentina was leaning against the car when she looked at her, and they exchanged a smile and locked eyes. I need some hot chocolate, Igor remarked, grabbing his sleeve. Should we go to the kitchen when we notice the conversation? Duda became aware of Luisa and Valentina's quiet talk as it was taking place. Igor was bewildered, but Duda guided him. Valentina made her way to the treehouse via the gravel path outside, and Luisa followed close after. Luisa got concerned when Valentina inquired about Giovanna. It was fun to be with someone who thinks the same way I do, Loser reflected as they had a supper on the lawn the day before. She was at a loss for words. She wasn't sure how she felt about anything related to college. Giovanna sat on the grass next to Luisa, tucking her hair behind her ear with her finger. She was clever and lovely, and she showed an interest in me. Luisa leaned in and received a delicate lip kiss. Luisa shook her head and tried to focus on the present moment. Despite the fact that it was pitch black outside, there was a small glimmer inside the treehouse where she was with Valentina. Valentina had candles lit and relaxing music playing. Some of the wall paintings Luisa examined more attentively were simply incredible. Luisa stood behind Valentina, looking at the photographs on the wall, but despite her worry, she decided that she wouldn't let fear get in the way of how she felt. She noticed Giovanna's expression as she stared at Luisa, and she reached out both hands and delicately placed them on Luisa's waist. Nothing made Luisa happier than dancing, giving in to her body's demands, being as lost in the music as Valentina, and losing herself in herself. When Valentina touched Luisa, she was startled. Valentina moved in close and chattered, her hips swinging to the music and her body moving. They got closer to one another as they danced to the music, and she raised her hair above one shoulder. Valentina's breath was on Luisa's neck as she held her hand and turned her around. Valeria grinned, you don't know a lot about me, but maybe you'll discover more as time goes on. I had no idea she could dance so beautifully. Valentina responded by drawing. Luisa gets closer. I believe you will enjoy the video. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate your presence.